um, by this point you were sort of blowing your marriage apart because you felt like you were becoming a, a workaholic in, in retrospect. And obviously that seems like, and, and feels like a big shift in this journey that you've had been having so far. That being said, I know that you're comfortable talking about it today, uh, just, just from our previous conversations and would love to hear a little bit more about that and, 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 um, and lessons learned and sort of takeaways from, from that time. Yeah, definitely. And that's, it, it's, it's been a long time in coming and in, in getting comfortable talking about it, but it, it, there are real lessons here that are germane to anybody out there that loves work and, and even considers work, not work. They, they do what they love because they love what they do. And, but the, the danger in that is that if you get wholly focused on one thing in your life and, and you don't have some sort of balance now, my wife and I had two kids, uh, you know, right after we got married, we were a year into our marriage for our first and in two years removed from that for our third or second brother. Um, but anyway, I, I didn't give the time and attention to, to my wife and to our two children that I should have. I rather gave all of that time and energy to work. So get up in the morning. First thing I do is go to work. When I get home at night, I'm so mentally and physically exhausted from having worked all day. I didn't have anything left in the tank to give to them. And on the weekend, I was really recovering from mm. giving up so much during the week. So my, my big message there for everybody is just don't, don't fall into that trap. Really do spend time with your, your family. It's really, really important. Mm.